Hey guys, this project is how to build a underwater ca casing for my high definition camcorder. So for this I got a few things from uh, Home Depot. Um, of course, this is a hundred millimeter or uh, four inch wide piece of pipe that we're gonna use and the camera will go inside. Um, this is the cap that we'll put on one of the sides and we're gonna cut a hole for the for the window that we will use plexiglass for it like half uh, uh, actually a quarter thick quarter of an inch and then I decided I have watched other videos making different kinds of caps but I decided to use um, this cap what it does is practically it has a rubber here that expands while you screw the ink on the back so the way it works is you just put it here and you just uh, screw it and it should create very tight seal so this is pretty much so this will go on the back this will go on the front we'll cut it a little bit because we don't need that long of a piece and then what we're gonna do is I, I chose this one because I need the handle and the way I'm going to use it is by unscrewing the screw. And just putting the handle somewhere here. So this way we'll put the cap about here. And this is going to be the handle for the casing. Well, as you can see, I have most from the glass table because I don't want to break something while cutting this pipe. Um, what I've done is I just put a line here because I want to make sure you can see all those edges here, they shouldn't be there, it should be absolutely flat and this surface here has to be absolutely perpendicular to this one because otherwise um, once we put this cap and it goes very tight on the sides, it won't lay very flat on this surface. So it's very important this surface here to be absolutely perpendicular to the side walls. So let's try to cut it. I don't have the right tool to cut it, so I'll try with this one, see what will happen. This is the, not the sharp edge of my YouTube tonight. Just to do some cleanup. Of course, I have to sand it as a second step, but I tried to make it as flat as possible. And if we give it a try, let's see, if we put this one here, and then I get this piece of metal, and see, yep, and is perpendicular so I don't really need the cap to go that deep um, it will have enough bow and will be able to handle enough pressure if it's halfway deep so with that said I'll just um, measure it and then we'll 
will see how how much I will cut out of it. So I, I will see. It's gonna be about this. Now this one doesn't have to be perfect flat because it doesn't lay against anything. However, for the sake of looking nice, I would like to make it flat as well. So this will be the next one to cut. But before I cut, I actually will go ahead and will make the hole because it will be easy to hold it while it's bigger chunk. So I'll go get some tools in order to, to cut the hole. But I'll mark the center first. Estimate the center like this. Okay, so it's it's pretty clear where the center is in this situation. So this way, I know this is the the dead center where all the scratches meet. Already to do the hole. The round hollow will use this uh, circular cutter. This one specifically, I've never used it before, so hopefully it will do a good job. But just in case, I'll do a, put a hole in the center just to, to drive. To make sure. I just want to ensure that it will go really in the center. So, let's see what will happen now. I have the feeling that I have to switch to my electrical drill. So I'll go get that one. We can do a better job. And we are dealing with cutting edges here. I'll use this glove just in case to protect my fingers. Hopefully it will not slide. Okay. We are very close to success. to do some polishing here with a Dremel and we are good to go cutting this piece as I was intending to before so safety glasses and gloves Okay guys, this is how it looks like now, the ring. It, it looks messed up because it needs some cleaning to be done, but, but overall it's fine. Of course we have to sand it and clean it. And we have to keep the surfaces unscratched. Now, of course, it 
will take some sanding, as I said. Oh, this one wants a sand, and we have the glass cut. We'll go here, and we'll make very tight connection. We'll go all the way down. I don't want to push it because it will be hard to pull it out once it's in. Um, So yeah, we'll continue, and I guess the next step will be to to cut this pipe in the the right size. Okay, this is my high definition camera, and I have wide angle lenses on it. In addition, because I want to make sure, even with wide angle lenses, I can still fit the whole thing. So the way I will measure it is I'll just use a measuring tape and uh, even without the measuring tape I can still know how far shall I go pretty much. We have the lenses here then the camera should be as, as close to the lenses as possible. So we we're talking about it somewhere there because I didn't put this all the way in. Because the white angle is really white and we don't want that uh, circle from, from the hole here. So we are measuring something like this and so will give some lag here and then we have the cap on the back. So we are talking about and let's leave some room, just in case. So we are talking about this kind of a size here. So, yep, now we just have to cut it. Okay, so I draw a circle. Again, I'm trying to make the cut perpendicular to the side walls. So here we go again, cutting and making noises. Now clean up here again. Now the reason I picked the black pipes is uh, um, I couldn't find white, even though it's cheaper. But at the same time, I realized um, using black naturally I will eliminate the reflection. From the from the glass, because you can imagine if inside is too lighter of a color, most likely that will reflect back in the in the lenses more or less. So we'll decrease the contrast. So even though it costs a little bit more, I think it will be. A better solution to do, but hey, if you want to use the white ones, go with the white ones. You need the four inch or a hundred millimeter diameter, and we'll do the same job pretty much. But make sure it's thick enough to sustain the pressure. <laughs> 